Hi, for this tutorial we're going to look at how to create a poll on your WordPress page. And this is going to allow you to get information from your readers, whether it's their opinions on your site, or on the topic that you're discussing, or pretty much anything. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to install a poll. I'm going to go to plugins, because like everything else in WordPress, pretty much everything has a plugin. And I'm going to go in and type in create poll. And I'm going to scroll down and I'm just going to install this WP polls. Install it now. Activate it. And you can see now on the left hand side we have polls. So I'm going to click on that and it gives us our poll stats, our poll logs, and I had gone in and made a poll called how is my site. The answers for this are good, excellent, bad, can be improved, no comments, or I can delete any of these or add even more. And over here to the right you'll see that it shows how many votes each one of these answers gets. You can choose whether you want the users to select more than one answer and the maximum number of selected answers that they're allowed. We also have a start date and time and an end date and time, or you can go ahead and click on do not expire this poll. Click on edit poll and you're ready to go. Now I'm going to go into poll options. And the poll options allow me to choose the colors that I want my poll to be, the Ajax style, how the answers are going to be sorted, and you can do that from ascending or descending, sorting the poll results and how you want to sort the poll results, how you want to be how you want them to be allowed to vote, including registered guests, guests only, both, the logging method, and you can log this by cookie and IP, the expiry time for a cookie and log, the number of polls per page, open polls only, our poll archive URL, and it automatically built one for us, whether you want the poll archive link to be below the poll, and I'm going to click yes, and if the current active poll if you want to display it, don't display it, or display it randomly, and decide when the poll is closed if you want to display the results or not, and click on Save Changes. Next, I'm going to go into Poll Templates, and this allows us to look at all of the variables, and we can put in our voting form header this information, restore the default template, you can change the voting form body, and the form footer and also you have the result templates. Now if you're not sure how to write this type of code then just leave this alone and let it go because you don't want to mess it up. So you can go all the way down to the bottom. You can also choose your miscellaneous templates if the polls are disabled or if there's a poll error and click Save Changes. You can also uninst uninstall WP polls right here. So let's go ahead into my apparent, into my plugins and scroll down and here are my WP polls. Now in appearance I'm going to go into my widgets. Once that's done we're going to go ahead into the developers page for this which is wordpress.org backslash extend backslash plugins backslash wp polls backslash installation and right here he has code that he would like us to enter into our sidebar. So I'm going to go back into my dashboard into my appearance into my editor I'm going to go into plugins into editor, I'm going to go into appearance, into editor, and then I'm going to scroll down until I find the sidebar.php which is right here. Then I'm going to go down where I want this to appear which is before the end of the page and I'm going to click control or command V to paste it and click on update file. I'm going to go into my WordPress tutorial page and do a refresh and then I'm going to scroll down until I see WP polls. I'm going to open up my footer area one, and then I'm going to click on polls and drag it up. And it's going to give me some options here whether I want to display the polls archive below the poll, which I said yes, and I want to display the latest poll and click save. Now I'm going to go into my page, refresh it. And here it is, my polls at the bottom of the page. So they can choose how they want to vote on it, click on vote, and then they can view the results. 
So that's how it works. This is a great way to really get in touch with what your readers think about your site or whatever it is you want to talk to them about. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you at the next tutorial.